Music Podcasts. Hi guys, welcome to Learn Kenyan Law with Wanjiko. I am your host Wanjiko Mwangi, and we're still continuing with the series of civil procedure rules and I am still joined with Miss Aruka. Karibu sana Miss Aruka. Asante sana. Yeah, you've been teaching us a lot. Last week you taught us about um drafting pleadings, drafting a plaint. Yes. And so um for the topic of today is um can I amend my plaint? Can I amend my pleading? So for example, I wrote that pleading mm-hmm. and there's something that I do not agree with mm-hmm. what are the instances that i can amend it, this pleading yes i can say that you can amend your pleadings before uh, the closure mm-hmm. of the pleadings yeah or even after the close of the pleadings but with the leave of the court yeah okay yes mm-hmm. and here we are going to talk about order eight yes amendment of uh, pleadings mm-hmm. whereby um either the plaintiff mm-hmm. either the plaintiff mm-hmm. or the defendant mm-hmm. uh, can amend their pleadings okay the plaintiff can amend the uh, plaint mm-hmm. and who when it happens that the plaintiff or even the advocate's plaintiff had already served the defendant and the defendant has entered uh, appearance yeah uh, definitely after entering appearance there will be a uh, defense mm-hmm. filed yeah. by this uh, defendant's advocate mm-hmm. so if it happens that the plaint uh lacked mm-hmm. uh some crucial evidence yeah. and you wish to uh, amend it mm-hmm. or even now you have uh, recognize that there is another party who should be included yeah then you can amend your plaint uh uh-huh. As you amend this plaint, uh, you will be guided by Order 8 yeah. of the Civil Procedure Rules. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. And even if if uh, if the defendant feels like they have to uh, amend their defense, okay. they still have that room mm-hmm. to amend uh, their defense, mm-hmm. to state clearly what exactly they want. Mm-hmm. Yes. So what I've heard from you, the first important point you've made, is that a party can amend a pleading yeah. uh, any time mm-hmm. before the pleadings are closed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, And you can do this even without the leave of the courts. Mm-hmm. So you can amend the pleadings any time before mm-hmm. the case is closed, meaning any time before the judgment, right? Yes. Another instance um, where you've said um, you can amend a pleading, and you've really stated that very clearly, You've said that you can amend a pleading where the amended plaint is already, for example, if the amended plaint is already served uh, on the defense, then the defense can amend, can you say that the defense can amend their response, so to speak, yes, within yes. 14 days? Yes, time and frame is very important. Yeah, so um, if I have amended my pleading as the plaintiff, mm-hmm. and you had already probably sent um, a, a defense, so you can also amend that defense within 14 days. Yes. And another instance where we can still amend these pleadings is that where this amend where the where amended defense has already been served, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, to the it has already been served to the plaintiff. Mm-hmm. Then the plaintiff mm-hmm. uh, and and the plaintiff has already served a reply. Mm-hmm. Then you can amend the pleadings. Yes. Within 14 days as well. So basically, um, from that we are saying, for example, uh, the defense is the one who's amending there defense mm. if the defense is amending their defense mm-hmm. and i had already served my reply as the plaintiff mm-hmm. i have the right to amend mine as well within 14 days mm-hmm. is that correct mm-hmm. and we've also said as the plaintiff if i am amending my defense and the defense had already prepared their amended defense mm, yes they also can amend their defense within 14 days mm-hmm. okay mm. so again another thing um that we can talk about is uh, about counterclaim mm-hmm. so if we are having an, an, an amended counterclaim mm-hmm. and it is served on a party against whom the counterclaim is made yeah so if we served a counterclaim against a party who we are supposed to serve then we can also amend that Yes, we can also amend that and also the time frame. Mm-hmm. The way you have said 14 days to mm-hmm. both parties. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I think we've discussed about without leave of the court. Without leave. Yeah, we've said without leave of the court, you can amend any time mm-hmm. before the case is closed. Mm-hmm. And the plaintiff can also amend in case a defense has amended their defense. And mm-hmm. a defense can also amend if a plaintiff has amended their plaint. Yes. So uh, what point are we? do we need to amend with leave of the court? With we uh, where uh, 
uh, an amendment can be done mm -hmm. with the leave of the court that one is under order uh, order 8 yes. rule 3 uh -huh. whereby you will be guided mm -hmm. by uh, what uh, these orders uh, rules yeah. states mm -hmm. and uh, uh, if I can just read briefly mm -hmm. that uh, subject to order 1 mm -hmm. uh, rule 9 and 10 mm -hmm. order 24 rule 3, 4, 5 and 6 mm -hmm. and the following provisions of this rule mm -hmm. the court may at any stage of the proceedings on such terms as to cost or otherwise as may be just yeah. and in such manner mm -hmm. as it may direct mm -hmm. allow any party to amend his pleadings mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. And then it continues where now the uh, an application mm -hmm. to the court has been brought for leave to amend mm -hmm. with the leave yeah. of the court. Mm -hmm. Then uh, it uh, it definitely says that there will be one the period of limitations mm -hmm. of uh, of the current date yeah. of filing yeah. of the suit mm -hmm. if it has expired. Mm -hmm. The court may grant such leave to the parties. On application that they want to amend their uh, their 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 pleadings, mm -hmm. the court may give uh, directions or even may grant such uh, leave in that circumstances mm -hmm. mentioned that uh, maybe they filed a document mm -hmm. and the document and the uh, case has been continuing. Yeah, that has not not from the not after the hearing or when there is a hearing. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Before the hearing of the case, yeah, yes, the 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 and if the party feels like they need to amend these documents, mm -hmm. then with that relevant period of limitation, yeah, after filing mm -hmm. that document mm -hmm. and you have served the other party, mm -hmm. then and if uh, then the court with your application as a party, yeah, who wants that to amend uh, to amend that application yeah then the court may grant you that that uh, that leave mm -hmm. and then it also continues to say that uh, 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 an amendment to correct the name of the party yes maybe uh, you aren't sure of which party to you are you are going against yes or even who should be included yeah yeah mm -hmm. you can also amend mm -hmm. with the leave of the of the Courts, name of yeah. the court mm -hmm. yes Mm -hmm. So great! I hear uh, for, with the leave of the court, you're saying that we can amend if that amendment is to correct the name of the party, and you've also said um, that um, there are other instances where you have to obtain leave from the courts mm -hmm. if you want to amend your plaint. Mm. And uh, can we also amend, or um, if we are trying to alter the capacity? Yes. We can amend mm -hmm. if we want to alter the capacity mm -hmm. in which a party is sued. Yeah. You can also, uh, definitely order eight mm -hmm. guides you yeah. on those, uh, where, on, on how to amend. Yeah. And when to amend. And when yeah. to amend. Oh, that's really interesting. I feel like um, we've really covered the important things. Mm -hmm. Without leave of the court, we've said that you can amend if you want to change the name or mm -hmm. if you want to change the capacity. Mm -hmm. Without leave of the court, mm -hmm. we've said that a party can amend any time before the pleadings are closed. Mm -hmm. We've also said that uh, a, a plaintiff can, can amend if the defense has served them an amended defense. Mm -hmm. And also a defense can amend if the plaintiff has served them an amended plaint. Mm -hmm. And we've also talked about counterclaim. You mm -hmm. can also um, amend a counter, um, an amended counterclaim. Yes. So th that is very clearly uh, under um, order eight. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about um, the process. How should you amend a plaint? So already I have yeah, already I have written um, my pleadings very carefully, but I want to amend paragraph three and five. Yes, because that is where the mistake is. Yes. What is the direction now? If you want to amend paragraph three and paragraph five, yeah, then mm -hmm. advocates should always have uh, red by rose mm -hmm. in their offices yeah. and the ruler. Yes, in their offices, these are what the requirements that they are being taught yeah. at the KSL <laughs> yeah. to have. Yeah, you know, uh, for purposes of this yeah. amending. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, you want to amend paragraph three mm -hmm. and paragraph yeah and paragraph four and paragraph four. Yes. Now, the heading mm -hmm. of your plaint mm -hmm. will be, if you are, you are amending the plaint or even if you are amending the defense, mm -hmm. then you should, uh, in, you should write 
amended plaint okay. or amended defense mm-hmm. or amended counterclaim. Mm-hmm. That word amended mm-hmm. should be there mm-hmm. first, at the heading. At the heading. Mm-hmm. Yes, the parties will remain the same. Yeah. Jurisdiction, Jurisdiction will yeah. remain the same. But now what we are now including mm-hmm. is the amended defense. Yeah. The word amended mm-hmm. is where now you shall uh, underline mm-hmm. with Mm-hmm. The red biro. Mm-hmm. So writing is not with the red biro, only underlining. Uh, underlining. Mm-hmm. Writing is not. So we can write with a blue pen. Yes. And then now we underline the word amended uh-huh. with a red pen. Because that is what we are, we are adding into that document. Yes. I just want you not to be. Uh, for you to understand better. Yeah. And, and under uh, order 8, mm-hmm. rule 7, mm-hmm. it gives you on how you can start strike mm-hmm. this particular paragraph yes. and how you can underline yeah. this particular uh, paragraph mm-hmm. whereby it is stating mm-hmm. that all amendments shall be drawn yes uh, shall be all amendments shall be shown mm-hmm. by striking out mm-hmm. out in the red ink mm-hmm. all deleted words mm-hmm. but in such a manner as to leave them legible and by underlining mm-hmm. in red ink mm-hmm. all added words. Mm-hmm. So striking out, you delete yes. the, 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 the words or yeah. even the paragraph. Yeah. Uh, underlining yeah. is now the added mm-hmm. uh, words or yeah. even a paragraph. Yeah. Yes, I hope that is clear. Yeah, that is extremely clear because now we're saying, for example, you are talking about if you're amending a plaint, Mm -hmm. the first thing you should add is the word amended and underline it with red. Yes. And we are changing, if we are changing paragraph three and four, we need to underline, not underline, to strike out that Mm -hmm. paragraph that we want to change. Mm -hmm. And now below that paragraph, write. 3A, if it yes. is paragraph 3, right? 3A. Mm-hmm. And we say that the defendant does not admit that he or she was in a contract with someone. Then mm-hmm. underline it mm-hmm. with a red pen. Mm-hmm. Then now we want to cancel paragraph 4. Mm-hmm. So we strike out paragraph 4 neatly mm-hmm. with a ruler. Mm-hmm. And then immediately down we write paragraph 4A. Mm-hmm. Then that is where we're saying that the defendant, mm-hmm. you know, maybe is, is not seeking whatever it is that you want to add. Yes. So basically, if you're adding something, you underline it. Yes. If you're cancelling something, you strike it out. Yes. Okay, that is really well guided. So um, under the data that Nairobi, mm-hmm. do we also strike it out? We also, uh, you know, strike it out mm-hmm. because at the time you were filing this, mm-hmm. you knew that was the position yes. of the matter. Yeah. But now that you have added this information, mm-hmm. or even you don't want this information to be included mm-hmm. in your plaint or even in your defense, mm-hmm. you can now uh, state now the amended uh um, uh, amended, amended at Nairobi. Yeah, and then you amended the at Nairobi. Yes. On this, on the day that you are making that amendment. amendment. Okay. Yes. Then we underline it. Then we underline it. Mm-hmm. The date that this matter was filed mm-hmm. or this matter was uh, um, mm, dated yes. will remain mm-hmm. the same, but you will strike it out. Yes. With a red pen. With a red pen. Yeah. So now you have to add the um, amended at Nairobi mm-hmm. with the date mm-hmm. that you are making this amendment mm-hmm. and then underline yes. this uh this date. Ah, yes. Very interesting. Again, you're saying that anything that we want to delete, we strike it out. And we paraphrase it Mm -hmm. under that paragraph. So if Mm -hmm. it was paragraph 3, immediately after paragraph 3, we write paragraph 3A. Mm -hmm. And we write what we want to correct or amend in that pleading. Then we underline. Mm -hmm. Then you've also said that cancellation should only be done in a red pen. Mm -hmm. You know, you cancel, then paraphrase. Yes. Yes. And then in case you're amending a pleading and you realize you do not need a paragraph. Mm -hmm. For example, your plain head paragraph 5 and 6. And you want to cancel them out. What do you do? Same process. Do we just cancel it out and leave it like that? If this plaint mm-hmm. is actually prejudicing your client, yes, then definitely, and you think that it should not be there, mm-hmm. then definitely you need to strike it out. 
yes. And that just leave it like that because it, there's nothing you want to add. Yeah. Ah, okay. Thank you so much, Miss um, Miss Aruka, for taking us through amendment of pleadings. Mm -hmm. We have said it is under Order Eight. Mm -hmm. We've talked about when can you amend a pleading without leave mm -hmm. of the court. Mm -hmm. We've also talked about when can you amend a pleading with leave from the court. Mm -hmm. And we've also insisted that you need a, bl a red pen. And a ruler. I yeah. was about to say black pen. <laughs> you need a red pen and a ruler. Yeah. So if you're cancelling something, if you're deleting something, mm -hmm. you strike it out with a red pen. Yes. If you're adding something new, you add it under a, a paragraph below and underline it with yes. a red pen. Yes. Okay. Any parting shots? As I say... <laughs> that uh, these are things that uh, you you are still being taught yes under uh, under grant mm -hmm. and you'll still be taught at yeah. KSL but in KSL it will be different because you'll be now uh, you'll be becoming a full advocate yes which you should know how to draft these documents uh -huh. yes so you're basically insisting that as a lawyer you need to understand how you need to draft a document yeah, yeah and also feel like it's also important for someone who has filed a case in mm -hmm. court mm -hmm. and they are wondering can I amend my plea mm -hmm. and basically we're telling them yes you can and mm -hmm. you do this and this and this mm -hmm. you know sometimes I feel like as the public they need to understand what our advocates doing you know because yes. sometimes uh, advocates are doing things we are not even understanding we are we are just like, why does he or she need to do it with a red pen? Mm -hmm. So again, thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you coming here. And um, guys, again, this is uh, still a continuation of the series of um, civil procedure rules. I hope you've learned a lot about Order 8. And until next time, bye. Music Podcasts, the home of podcasts in Kenya.